Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the workshop. New day of work on the E36, on the Donner. So uh, today my objective will be to, to pull the engine out, uh, engine and gearbox. So first of all, and more important, uh, is to take all the elements out of cables. So as you see, I made some some labels here. This goes to the hair box filter. This connector goes to this valve underneath that is connected to the, the charcoal filter of the gas. So this will be out. I'm, I'm not using it, but uh, as I don't want to have some connectors hanging around and not knowing what it, what it is. So um, I recommend you strongly that you lab label everything. Um, this is the connector for the for the um, coils of uh, of the engine and uh, i removed the the calculator that is over there so as you can see all everything is uh, everything is labeled this is, these are some masses uh, close to the to the battery area and uh, well that that's it uh, there's not so much connections here uh, you have all the cables that go, they, they go to the calcula calculator uh, and to the coils here and they go all the way behind the engine and then they end up in the connectors. So this connector is uh, for to connect the computer in the BMW. So this is going to be kept away. This connector is going to be changed so it is compatible with the connection on the E30. Um, so this will be for an, a next episode where I will I will show you how to make a, a connector. I will use the so the old, old point here will be to use the, the connector on the on the E30 um, that I have upstairs. That that's why I wanted to keep both cars or purchase both cars the uh, most complete as possible um, after some strong searches with my with my brother we find the, the donner and and rooster which is in in very good conditions of uh, the bodywork is perfect and there's no there's absolutely no rust so normally it would be it would be cool so um as i said not not much mysteries here um make yourself some room when you do a swap um it's my first swap okay but I've made uh, a few engines and uh, removing engines for, from a compartment of a car and so on. So I've uh, not so much, but I have quite a f experience in here, in here. So uh, first recommendation I will give you when you make a swap is uh, make, uh, make you as much room as possible. So you get uh, as much clearance as possible here. Um, the torsion bar here will be out the um, uh, uh, steering column here will be out. So this way you see all, all the connections, as much connections as possible. So here's the cables of the engine bay out. So you can see, you can pull them out straight uh, without cutting or anything uh, related to cutting. So only two um, more problematic cables are um, the lambda connector, which is here. This connector goes underneath the, the engine to the lambda sensor in the, in the exhaust. Uh, this connector here is underneath the admission, um, all the admission pipe. So you have to be careful as well to not pull without disconnecting it and there's also a sensor uh, that goes behind uh, the engine which is the one of uh, the I can see it right now but uh, it's the one of the gearbox so once you've unplugged everything uh, you have the the injector connectors so as you can see it's all connected to the same uh, I don't know, same rope of cables, uh, so to speak. 
So it goes out on one piece. Now uh, most of the parts remaining uh, are uh, connected from engine engine um, engine part to engine part. So uh, you can take the engine out without disconnecting them. What else? Uh, this uh, box here stays in place. Uh, don't need to to take it out. Uh, I recommend you to take out the, the the upper part of the of the admission tubes. So you need to remove the um, throttle cable. And I will continue then. And uh, I've I've been underneath the car so. As well, I want to show you. So I removed all the all the um, the cover underneath it, so I can access the the lambda. Like you can see there, I could also access the, the the sensor on the gearbox that you have to disconnect to take the the cables out. And uh, I will go on. I will unmount the the exhaust. Well. <clears throat> I also wanted to say thank you uh, to uh, the followers of this project and uh, and um, as you can see I don't have uh, a camera crew and I'm doing the work and trying to stop and film. I know a lot of you out there are looking for like uh, complete tutorials but um, I will I will show you the steps because I, I believe that if there's something very complicated that uh, I want to share with you, I will. In other case, it's only just a matter of, uh, of common sense. You need a lot of common sense on mechanic, even if you don't know what you're doing. Just a lot of common sense and uh, not wanting to, be, to go faster than what uh, the complexity of the mechanic is allowing you because uh, on mechanics it's pretty easy but on on mecha on, on um, electrical and on sensors and everything take your time unplug put a label a label the way I make my labels is not fancy at all it's very very easy I take a, a, a painting um, stripe like this and so it is a, a paper paper material so I take a marker I write on the roll and then I take the piece of the label and I put it around the cables. So as you can see, it's, there's nothing fancy here. It's very, very easy. This is hanging very tight on, on everything. So I've never lost uh, a label or whatsoever. So take your time, mark everything. You see a lot of cables here, but believe me, this is this is not as as a headache as it seems. It's uh, much more complicated when you mount everything back, and you are missing labels, and you don't know where to connect the the, the connectors. 